the point of therapy is to uh, this exhilaration of discovering that you have power that you didn't know you had. The awareness that the things that have defeated you are actually solvable. The things that you had suffered from in shame and guilt are actually universal. Mm -hmm. That what you're up against is part of the human condition. And if you read novels, if you went to movies about people talking to one another or rather than movies about car crashes, you would <laughs> discover that everybody else goes through the same sort of shit. And that's got to make you feel like you're part of the human condition. And my job is to make people aware, hey, life is a okay. comedy. Yeah, you, know, you can turn around, you can stop at that point, you can change what you do, and it will change the outcome of the whole story. It's also a tragedy, you know, he kept, you asked him about what he did with his father, talked about with his father, cars, mm -hmm. just cars, and you almost wanted to cry. You know, it was, it was a real sadness thing. But he almost wanted to laugh at that point, yeah, because yeah. he was presenting it to me with full awareness of everything that I'd said before, yeah, of everything was. he'd revealed. Yeah. And that was a wonderful moment Yeah, because he was seeing, he was in on the joke. But you helped with it because yeah. you looked away and started laughing and said, that's a big help. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, to talk about cars. Yeah. But, you know, he had a car shirt on. Did you notice that? He had on oh, a yeah. National Hot Rod Association, <laughs> you know, T-shirt that, you know, to keep this. Keep his dad in mind. Well, I, th I think it's a, you know, he really wanted a father, just how desperate. And that was the only connection that they seemed to have. That's right. That's what mm -hmm. connected them. Yeah. This is a sad, sad man yeah. with a wife who could be so much fun if he weren't so scared of her. 